What's going on, Blazioneers and Blazionettes? So, um, I put off on um, continuing this countdown for quite a while. So, I figured, you know, it's time to stop, you know, just stop the stalling and just get right to it. So, here we go. So, there's going to be spoilers if you have not watched, the, you know, the series, if you, if you have not watched The Flash or Arrow, any of that. So, this is my countdown. There's going to be spoilers. So, just so you know. Okay, now... Um, I have to admit, my only, like, my only knowledge, or my only, my, I guess my, my only, my, I guess my only treatment to The Flash was the original TV series, you know, the 1990 series. Um, I never really read the comics, I mean, I, I maybe read, like, one or two, that's where I, that's where I knew that there were more speedsters, like Jay Garrick and Wally West and etc. And, uh, and Jay, you know. Yeah, I did say Jay Garrick, but, um, but, yeah, I mean, like, other than that, I wasn't really aware of all of his, all of, um, all of his villains. I mean, I did watch Flashpoint Paradox before this show started airing, so, um, I had a, you know, a bit of awareness for Reverse Flash and Captain Cold and, and so on, and, um, and, you know, just them to see that storyline of him about his mother being killed and, it's like, oh, that's interesting. You know, that reminds me of Flashpoint Paradox. And then there's Reverse Flash. Like, oh, okay, this is interesting. And, um, and, uh, <clears throat> and I liked how, I liked how the, the show constantly fucked with you. Like, with, the, with, um, who is Reverse Flash? Like, um, like, is Har like, what is his, what is Harrison Wells' connection to Reverse Flash? Like, are, are they the same person? Do they know each other? What's going on here? You know, they kept doing that for quite a bit through the first half, and then, even though they gave us some confirmation that they are the same person in the mid-season finale, you were still like, but how? I mean, like, they were, they were in the room, they were in that room together. I mean, like, how does that happen? You know, like, what is going on here? And it just kept fucking with us until they finally showed us of how they are the same person, and and how like okay how is Harrison Wells reverse flash when um <clears throat> when people already know who he is like he's just respected scientist and so on and then they show that um you know that you know that he he really is not not always he is Harrison Wells reverse flash but we find out that Harrison Wells isn't is not reverse flash but in fact E. Barthon who took on Harrison Wells' identity, and he killed the real Harrison Wells years, I mean, like, years back, like, um, like, when he got stuck in that time, and, um, so, yeah, <laughs> that was a fun puzzle to try to put together, and, um, and with, um, the whole, everybody, you know, got powers along with Barry Allen, you know, like, around when that time when the particle accelerator, you know, exploded, and then he was hit by lightning, it's like, oh, okay, so everybody else got powers that night, too. Um, I thought, um, I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, like, in the comics, but, hey, you know, um, you know, hey, I'll, I'll take it, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, that was just, like, a little slight nitpick, like, okay, like, so, you're gonna fight everybody who, so, so, almost everybody, like, almost every villain that he's gonna fight has gotten powers that same night, too. Um, it, it's very small though, like, you know, like where there was a meteor shower and everybody got powers from, you know, from the, from the kryptonite and so on in some shape, some way or another. So, um, so, you know, that was a pretty inter interesting route. And, um, so, yeah, I mean, like, this is like for the first time the Arrowverse expanded, you know, like where, when, when they introduced Barry Allen on season two of Arrow, I was really excited, like, oh, so... This is going to take the, you know, the Arrowverse into places that we never thought was going to happen. You know, like when back in with season one, it was like it was going to stay grounded in reality. And now it looks like, OK, why not? Why not expand it? And, and you know, if you've seen where it is now, I, I never would have thought that would happen. I just never thought. I thought it would be, that would be wishful thinking. But this is the beginning of that right here on The Flash. So and this makes it. And I honestly enjoy The Flash much more than I do Arrow. I mean, I enjoy Arrow, but, you know, I mean, like, um, The Flash is a much more fun show to watch. And The, F the Flash is um, 
genuinely, you know, genuinely, uh, genuinely <laughs> um, a, a more fun show than Arrow. And, um, and, you know, I, I just like, I'm all about super powered heroes. I mean, that's what I gravitate towards the most. And, you know, I love the, you know, the heroes who don't have powers, but they know how to really kick ass really well. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, it just, I just enjoyed the hell out of it. And I didn't, I, and I was almost afraid for the show to be successful. I wasn't sure if it was going to last a, a season or if it was going to have another season or whatnot. I was just concerned because, you know, like, with some cancellations of other shows, like, like a few years before the Arrowverse even started, before Arrow even started, it's like people are really picky, like, with TV shows. Like, you don't know if it's going to last, you know, like, if it's going to live to see a season two. And when I find out that it got renewed for season two around that time, I'm like, okay, so if I have more confidence in the show that it will be successful with everybody else. But with me, I would have loved them to go crazy with it. And they are. But I was afraid that they wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I was afraid people were not going to enjoy it as much because it's not Arrow and it's a totally different show. But thankfully, people have welcomed this show with open arms. And yeah, I mean, it's because of everybody, you know, you were keeping this thing going. You know, I'm glad that you did not. I'm glad that you, you know, a lot of you are not crushing the show. Like, this sucks. No, no, no. You know? <laughs> so, um... So yeah, I mean, I liked how we're, how we're, you know, the whole who is Reverse Flash, you know, like, you know, like puzzle. I like how they, we kept trying to put those, you know, just put that all together, you know, like I mean, I mean, how is he Harrison Wells? I mean, he's he's in the wheelchair. How that doesn't make sense. Okay, how is he out the? Oh, no, like in the pilot, he did show that he is out of the weird wheelchair. So like, okay, does that mean he's Reverse Flash? What does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> they kept throwing curveball after curveball after curveball at us. <laughs> so, yeah, this was this show was a really fun fun ride. This first season was a really fun ride, and when you see him and Arrow, you know, team up when they do that team up event right before their mid season break, you know, like that was fun to watch too. You know, like um. So yeah, it's it's like it's like. You know, like with the animated series with Batman and Superman, you know, that's how this show feels pretty much to me. You know, like where there was Batman the animated series and then now there's Superman the animated series. So this is sort of like that, like where Arrow is Batman and the Flash is Superman in a way, like with, with that all being said. So yeah, this this season one gets four and a half chair spins out of five. So here we go. One, two, three. Four and a half chair spins. <laughs> so as you can see, my futon is gone. I mean, I'm getting new furniture in. So um, for in case of you, like, for just like wondering, like, I'm, I could have sworn you had a futon there. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna continue this countdown with Arrow season three. You know, like it's like you know back and forth. You know, that's where it. it, it I mean, yeah. I mean, like, like I said, <laughs> like I said, you know, the Arrowverse has a. This is the beginning of the expansion, and I can't wait to see where it all goes from here. You know, like, if you're, if you're all caught up to where it is now, I mean, like, through the, I'll say through the years, like, through the years of, um, of The Flash so far, it's been more fun and more appealing to me than Arrow. But right now, in this year, this current season of, um, season three of Flash and season five of Arrow, they're, like... At, you know like they're sharing a throne right now so we'll see how that plays out as the rest of the season for both shows progresses you know what I mean so but before that the flash you know was on the upper hand in my book you know it was more fun to watch while arrow was starting to stumble on some parts I mean like after season three I should say but yeah we'll get to that in my review for season three of arrow so if you guys enjoyed my review on Flash Season 1, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe. If you are a newbie to the channel, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out y'all. <laughs>